Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom the ending we deserve? No. But it's the continuation we deserve. Now look, let me make something perfectly clear. This movie is not the problem. The problem is the fact that this movie came out in the wrong order. The last four DC films came out in the wrong order, but that's a video for another day. If examined on its own, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom does a lot more things right than wrong. While we don't see a lot more of Atlantis, we do get to see more of the ocean and its secrets. While we continue to build out the world of the DCEU with this interesting concept of the Dead King, but DC is hitting reset. Jason Momoa is still a lot, but they changed his character from being a single unemployed guy to a father trying to do right by his son. And bonus points for adding in a wrinkle there with Orm and Arthur's reconciliation. All these things are good things, and I'm happy we got them. All I'm trying to say is the fact that the DCEU is dead, and I think it's harder because it feels like we were somewhat emotionally invested in some of these characters, but we'll never have closure. Not properly, anyway. Closure is important, and when we don't have it, we can feel insulted. How dare I invest my time, my money, in a story we all know is ending with a wet fart, and with no satisfying conclusion. Aquaman 2 will be the final DCEU film, but it shouldn't have been. I think if this film had come out in the summer with The Flash coming out now, we could have had The Flash and the DCEU with a reset. But, as things stand, Aquaman has some great action sequences, some great fight scenes. The concept of The Lost Kingdom is an interesting one, and I challenge anyone to have a problem with a big blockbuster film having a climate change message in it. We only have one planet, and it's up to each of us to try and do what we can. We need to elect leaders that will actually help instead of backing people with blind faith and hollow promises for a better future. Aquaman is a father now, and I really wish we had had more time to dive into that. I think that would have been great. I understand we didn't have the time, but the chance to see Aquaman, Arthur freaking out about diapers, how to change diapers, uh, the responsibility of becoming a father, understanding that now when you go out there and fight, you're not just fighting for yourself or for your wife or your people. You're fighting to come back so that he can have a father. Puts a little more pressure on things. I think that's something that they could have explored more. Aquaman's son being threatened is a storyline from the comics I really enjoy. Not that threatening kids is fun, but, you know, in comics, and in that Justice League episode, The Enemy Below, Arthur saves his son at great personal cost, cutting off his own hand to save his baby boy. That is the love of a father. And I'm not saying Jason Momoa didn't have some of his great energy, but this film just felt off. The whole movie just felt odd. And I think that's partially due to interference with James Wan's story. James Wan is a director that has done no wrong, so I'll go to bat for him in this. Now, after the calamity that was the DCEU going to become the DCU, a casualty of that was this film's duology and its lasting effects, or lack thereof. There's also an issue with Amber Heard that I don't want to talk about, she knows what she did. What I do want to talk about though is Patrick Wilson and his great showing as Orm. Personally, he reminds me of Aquaman when it comes to the actual comics. The relationship and the growth of the two brothers is welcomed. I love it when the villain and the hero team up to take on a greater threat. Make no mistake, this is a redemption story for Orm, as much as it is a story of growth for Arthur. The two of them working together and playing off each other it works well. Jason Momoa might just have chemistry with everyone in this film. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom doesn't deserve to fail. So many people worked hard on this film and it deserves better. It's a B plus in my book, but I think I'll go back and rewatch it in the future just to double check. Now that said, what did you think? Go ahead and comment down below, we'd greatly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. And we'll catch y'all next time.